Okay. Did you turn off the headphones? No, I did. Oh no, if it turns off, you have to restart it. Ah. Do, do, do. that okay 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 all right okay welcome uh, hey yes we are back are can we back you, yes we're back now can we can everybody hear us <laughs> can you hear us and are we okay is, it, is the buffering issue done uh move the move the thing around well bunk, bunk. Yep, no, it's doing. All right, yeah, we're. Yeah, it's good. We fixed it. Yeah, it was uh, our oh, internet. Hell yeah. Yeah, we were we were in the the garage of the whatever. Garage. The f- Yay. Yeah, no, it was just internet. Uh, internet and crappy uh, laptop. <laughs> oh god. All right, back to introductions, I guess. Yeah. So, um, this you want to take the mantle on this, James? I guess. I really hate this setup though, because like. <laughs> I just, I'm like, it's, it's no, having, it's, 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 it's the first go around. <sighs> Let's give ourselves some leniency, you know? Yeah. All right. All right. So we can figure this out later. All right. So for the four people who are watching this right now, hi, four people. Hi, four people. Uh, I'm James. Oh shit. I'm Will. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and we, the brother's cheek make a full ass. Yes, we do. We, we <laughs> really do. And so, uh, cause there's only four of you. I'm, I'm just going to assume that you guys know who I am. And I'm pretty sure you know what the podcast my brother and I do because I talk about it all the time. Yeah. Uh, So we decided that uh, why not, I don't know, monetize it. Or at the very least, come up with a really fun name and then just now have to commit to a project. Half the times when we do projects, it's the name first that gets us going. (laughs) Very true. Very, very true. Okay. So... Um, now that we're here, we are going to play some Horizon Forbidden West. Because I've never played it before. Because he's never played it before. And I already beat it, but he loved the first game, so this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Also, uh. you're going to try and not kill me. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so James uh, has, this, has this lovely habit of hating how I play video games. Yes, I do. He he <laughs> plays them wrong I, I, somehow. Even though there's no wrong way to play a video game, he plays them wrong. I don't know how. I just play them the way that I play them. Yeah. Uh, now, we do have... I have a hard out uh, in about an hour. Cool, so cool. So this is literally trial episode? Yes. This is sort of a trial episode. I will be manning the chat. Yes. Um, I'll be doing uh, video game stuff. And you'll be doing video game stuff. So let's get this started. Boom, boom. Uh, oh, um, we Except have get a get it started. Yeah, get get it get it started. Get yo, the, get the fucking ball rolling. Yeah, I'm literally so excited for this. You have no idea how much <laughs> I've been wanting to play this game. Yeah, no. We when we were talking about this, Will was just like, "We have to do this." I'm like, "That means I have to buy a PS5." We have to do like, this. Like we we both went in and we're like, "We're getting a PS5." Yeah, we're yeah. getting this. So yeah, I can I can do that. All right. So uh, uh everybody. You can you can fight me all you want. <laughs> I like to do things on easy mode because I'm more into story. I'm also really bad at video <laughs> games too. <laughs> so oh no, that's that's fair. So actually, I was uh, I played the game on normal for like eighty five percent of it. And oh then really? It, it, well, it was just getting to the point where it was taking too long huh. for me to do anything. And no, no, I see your question. I'll answer it in a second, um, or I'll ask Will in a second. Um, but. Uh, because I can't see the chat right now. Yeah, yeah. No, we're just, we're, it is not, this he, is not he's a He's quite lit. So imagine, like, you know, those, like, launcher, like, you know, like the NASA rocket launch rooms where everybody's kind of in their own cubicle but all talking at the same time. That's mm-hmm. kind of what our setup is right now. Yeah, it's it's like we're, it's like we're, fa- it's like we're trying to do a project to get, it's like we're manning a robot but we're facing back to back. It's yes. very, it's very weird. It's really fun. Um, But yeah, so uh, easy mode makes it follow the story. Yes, it is. Um, uh, I, my br- uh, ADHD. What were we talking about? <laughs> uh, we were. Well, I was talking about how like I'm bad at video games and uh, oh. I play everything on easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was like 85 percent of the time it was. Um, I was doing that, but then it got to the point where it was just taking for forever for me to finish this game, and so uh, 
and so I, um, so I just, and then I was trying to figure out how to, how to beat this one particular challenge. And then I was, I was looking, I was watching like a video for some strategies and then the guy was on there was like, yeah, you know, and just, just remember that there's no like difficulty penalty for trophies in this game. So you can just lower the difficulty if things get too hard. And I was like, motherfucker, why didn't I do that? So like on the, on the first game, um, the, the, uh, the first horizon, mm-hmm. um, I would kind of, <laughs> I would kind of cheat it. Cause like I would go to the cauldrons all the time and mm-hmm. then I'd try to like, you know, beat uh like every single like the final monster and shit like that but i think it was like the you know the t-rex one or something like that which was giving me a really hard time Uh and like so i just kind of ended up saying fuck it and just going to story mode to fight the boss (laughs) beat it and then just switch it back to the difficulty that i was at yeah that's the the, yeah that's that's uh, that's basically it's basically how it ended up going oh little boy little fox i um Uh. so uh, oh my god! So, I don't know why. Every, like, I feel like everyone should have a favorite exotic animal that they want as a pet. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Um, I have many, but <laughs> one that I really <laughs> like, and you you can actually get them domesticated. I don't know how legal it is, but like, there's a there was an experiment in Russia. Oh, just foxes? Uh, yeah. For I want a domesticated fox. Yeah, they're. I don't know what kind of. I don't know what because they laws say are they going on there. um because they say they behave like dogs mm-hmm. but they cuddle like cats you know what's really funny i referenced the same fucking thing in the stream yesterday really yeah someone asked me if watching was a cat or a dog person and i'm like he's a fox person because uh, yeah, yeah. not only is his character like a f- uh uh like a, a like is connected to a fox sort of anthropomo- uh, like anthropomorphically mm-hmm. but like just his personality is like no he'd want something that would like cuddle like a dog but be independent like a cat yeah um, anyway, Nato asked a question earlier. She says, Will, how do you feel about James playing a gay man in a show, and what do you think about the show? Honestly, if, if I'm going to give my 100% honest opinion, I'm glad that you're doing it. Because <laughs> I don't think I can trust many other people. Because, like, to, uh, to fully be honest, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and we don't even know why you're like this. Mm-hmm. You just are. Yeah. You're, like, the gayest straight man. Yeah. And it's really funny because, like, in our personal lives and things like that, he constantly has to translate like <laughs> gay things to all the straight people around yeah, us. Yeah, our uh, our older brother, we joke uh, that he is aggressively heterosexual. Oh, that was the first thing that my boyfriend said about. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's just some. It's it's not it's not what you think it is. It's bad. Okay, because I was about to, you know that one horror movie, like, ev- uh, ev- like it was Evil, Evil Dead? Dead, the first one? Yeah. The tree scene? Oh. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. This is not a, this is this is an M-rated game for other reasons. Okay. Do they say fuck more than once? Or wait, is this M or is this teen? I think it's I think M. it's M. I think it's M too. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. Hang on. Let me, let me, go- let me. Because it does do, it does have a lot of adult themes. Uh, but, you know, they can get a lot of adult themes in T games. Yeah. I uh, mean, let me see. Let me f- oh god, this looks No, it's teen. It's teen oh, for teen for blood language and use of alcohol. Ah. Nice. <sighs> this looks but yeah, gorgeous. I know. It is it is a very very pretty game. Uh user give two figs says you can have foxes in any state. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to convince my boyfriend. <laughs> he won't like. He won't let me get a dog. Well, I mean, if if uh, if you get a fox, I might actually be able to go over to your house. Really? Are you n- do you know if you're allergic? I don't to know fox if I'm. Fur? Al- I don't know if I'm allergic to fox. It's dander. It's not fur. Oh, that's right. Uh, I don't know if I'm allergic to fox dander, but cats will murder me. Yeah, no, they actively do. Yeah, uh, it's really funny. Like he can be in a room and be like, "There's cats here," and they're like, mm-hmm. "How do you know?" It's like I'm dying. Yeah. I'm actively dying. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's absolutely funny. Although it's sad because kitties are very cute. So my boyfriend, um, he has like these two cats. They're dumb as fuck. Like, like they 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 are the stupidest fucking things. And he, but they're just so great. I love them. Mm. And he always says that uh, his cats are cats for people who hate cats. <laughs> He always says that his cats radicalize people. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's absolutely great. Lucy and Pepper, they're so cute, absolutely cute. Okay, 
Uh, see, Nano asks, uh, "Will, what is your what is uh, your sort of guys and dolls style review of Heaven Officials Blessing?" Okay, so you want to you want to know something embarrassing? <laughs> I still haven't seen it yet. You still haven't I seen s- it. I've uh, so I've logged into your Funimation account. Yeah, I saw like maybe the first episode, mm-hmm. um, but I really want me and my boyfriend to watch it together. But we just haven't. <laughs> had our schedules synced up and I feel bad watching it without him. So oh I actually haven't <laughs> actually even watched it yet. Oh my God. Like, uh, I got, like James tells me pretty much everything about the show, but I don't want to form any opinions if I haven't actually <laughs> watched it yet. <laughs> so like, that's my, that's my shame. Yeah. But I'm still riding on your coattails essentially. Cause podcast mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah very true very true well, uh, when when james uh, was first announced to have landed the role um mm. it was absolutely great and you know how like the big swarm of your first fans started cropping up oh yeah and then nano you came in and just was obsessed with guys and dolls and i was like hey i got a fan out of <laughs> your fame mm-hmm. it was really great i think it was funnier when um when you got when you had like someone respond to just a, a shit post that you put out into the void, yeah, because that's all I do. I yeah. just shit post constantly. Cause yeah, because that's just that's what you do. And then you're just like, oh, how, how do you what? What people are interacting with me? Yeah, that's not what's supposed to happen. This is this is. Oh, this brings me back. Mm-hmm. I constantly want to heal myself because <laughs> I am bad and I lose health like no one's <laughs> fucking business. So, like, if I can get as much health products, I can mm-hmm. constantly heal myself. And I'm like, I'm going to need Wait, that. health products? Yeah. They're products? They're branded items in yeah, this Yeah, they're branded... It's Zenith brand back. healing herb. <laughs> Zenith brand <laughs> healing herb. Oh, God. Herb. Are you dying in... S- kind of sort of worship far zenith in an abstract way uh, try zenith brand healing herbs zenith brand healing herbs yeah your herbs 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 oh my god you can heal yourself more can I? oh shit that's right see i'm dumb people like no matter what do you, i do do you know what to press to heal yourself okay there you go <laughs> i've like, played this game before i know well it's been years no well, well uh, yeah but no but yeah <laughs> But no. <laughs> but like, yeah. You know, it was funny. I was, I was, uh, when I first started playing this game, um, and uh, and I was like, oh man, like I'm kind of going back to you know the first game and, and 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 remembering all the things that I enjoyed, and then probably like 30 hours in, I was like, I remember why this game became a fucking chore. Oh. And and I, I love. Why would you say the game became a chore? Oh, there's just too much to do. And really? you yeah, think that, that gets um, there's just yeah no well because for me, so for me when I play a video game I want to get as much as I I want to get everything done before the final boss mm. and I want to go into the final boss having the uber like the the uber minch weapon and the uber minch armor and you know having done all the side quests and like just sort of completing like like draining the game dry for story or um or cool stuff and then go to the final boss. Um, because I, cause the idea of like doing it posthumously just mm-hmm. is like, it's just like, no, it's just, it's just dumb. Really? Yeah. So when I, so when I played the first game, uh, when I got about like 80% of the way through the story or, um, or maybe like 75% of the story, I was like, I'm just going to run around and find all the things and do all the stuff and get the, you know, and some things were, were uh, story locked where you couldn't get them until later in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but I basically just did everything and then I played the game and it got to the point where it was just work and I was just running around trying to do this out of the other. Really? Um, huh. And, uh, and it just, and it was just, fu- and it was the same thing with this game where, and there's more to do in this game. Uh, and so I was, so I like, wasn't paying attention to the story or anything. It just became like, go to X, do the thing, go to X, do the thing. And, uh, and so it was just like, yeah, this game became a chore. I, l- I love this world and I like this franchise. This world is um, absolutely <coughs> amazing. But, uh, but it was, it did become a, you have to shoot the, the orange thing. Oh, do I? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, damn. No, shoot it with your bow. Shoot it with my bow? Yeah, shoot it with your bow. So, so my bow? Your bow. My bow. Your bow. So if I don't just whack it, it won't come down? That's true. You have to take your bay and shoot your bow. <laughs> I have to take my bay to my bow? Take the bay to bow. Oh, my God. But, no, literally, uh. just shoot it. <laughs> See, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. Like, my brain just short-circuited for a moment. I was like, I have a point. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Nana says, uh, laugh my ass off. I can only imagine from Will's side, one day James gets cast as a gay Adonis in a random Chinese show, and out of nowhere it turned out to be this actually this huge thing. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's really fucking what it was. Yeah. Like, um, it, it's really <coughs> also kind of funny, because we also... Um, like uh when James first got um cast and everything like that, we had like really kind of no idea what happened. Like we were like, Hey, congratulations, but but uh uh okay. Mm. This so if I'm gonna roast you on spot, James mm. Are you uh, gonna read me to Phil? I'm going to read you the house down work your boots <laughs> for the nerve. <laughs> um <laughs> As, as my fellow homosexuals would say, mm-hmm. um, you have a tendency to kind of be a little bit of a Debbie Downer at times. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I think that's common knowledge in, in our world. Yeah. No, my so first reaction that, like, is death. Yeah. So like, so the fact that you got something so um, just objectively great happened to you, mm-hmm. it's, it's nice to see. <laughs> but it was also really strange because we were like, how... Are you going to take this, buddy? You know? <laughs> you good? You good with well, success? I, well, I, I called you and screamed, remember? Oh, yeah. I don't remember the screaming, oh, but yeah. I well, you well, calling me. Well, yeah. So uh, I don't remember if you picked up and it was just a, and it was an, I think it left a message. But it was it funny was. because I, I told this story um, within my interview with Kichter, but I work for a production company that we we have worked on, uh, f- on a handful of Donghua. And I w- tried to get our company to see if we can't get the show, like use our contacts to see if we could if we could localize it. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and and so uh, because you know no one cares, as someone mentioned in chat, no one cares about Donghua. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I didn't even know what uh, <laughs> there's even like a name for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and so then uh, and so then during that time. When I was researching the show, and uh, and and just trying to learn about it, I called it "Gay Chinese Boyfriend." <laughs> yeah, because that was the role that you were going out for. Was gay no, Chinese no, boyfriend. it was. Uh, well, no, no, that was after I uh, first auditioned. Oh, but I, but like, uh, but it was just like, uh, oh no, that was right. When I got the audition sides, it was like I got gay. I got the gay Chinese boyfriend sides, and uh, and we were just riffing on. Um, on on just done that. referring to Hua Chung as gay Chinese boyfriend. Yeah, and the fact that you got it. Yeah. Was also like a habawa. Yeah. Um, Not like super surprised because I, if I'm if I'm also gonna compliment you as I read you the house down filth work for the boots nerve mama yes God. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you were you were right about the, the 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 thing. You had to shoot it down. You just had to like fully. Oh, it had to be a full draw. Yeah, it had thing. to be. Yeah, it had to be a full draw. Oh. Uh, Okay. Um, anyway, you were reading me the house down boots, kinky boots, Bob Work the drag queen. Mama, yes, God. Yeah. Um, slay. Slay queen. Yes, baby. Um, I don't, are you sure? Yeah, that's. Is that what you did? Yeah. Just, just hit, it's fully drawn. Oh, that's super weird. Then I don't, I, I don't. Did you glitch it? No. This, this, this is not the kind of glitch that this game has. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's over there. You have to climb up there and drop it down. See, that's what the, I the yellow will the yellow triangle follow the but yellow. Where? But where? You remember that brick road that the friends of Dorothy follow? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, um, if you don't know gay history, uh, like to be, because um, it said look for the ruins, and I was just yeah, Ooh. but you have it on explorer mode where, or you have it on guided mode, which tells you where to go. Oh uh, well, I wasn't paying attention. See. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have ADD like a motherfucker. <laughs> so even if I get instructions, which I need, I can't always, you know, mm-hmm. uh, follow it. Mm-hmm. Um, but hold on. Let me 
You're gonna be some sneaky stuff. Some well, then I'll just I'll just finish my story. Oh uh, yeah. Um. So yeah. So we were were referring to Hua Chung as gay Chinese boyfriend, um. And uh, and so when I ha- was uh when I came into my first session and realized that I was cast as Hua Chung, mm-hmm. um, you know I uh, I was just like oh my god and I, I think I called our older brother first because he picked up. I, and then I called, uh, and then I called you, and I just yelled into the phone. Yeah. I got gay Chinese boyfriend. <laughs> and th- that was the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you called me later, and we're just like, "Oh, congratulations!" I was like, "Oh yeah, mm. uh, good for you. Good, good, good for you." Hmm. You know, you can shoot it, and it just be confused for a few seconds, but not be detected. Boop. Get it at the eye. Well, you got the thing, if you, yeah, and then you get the sneaky, sneaky. Yep, and then if you shot the other thing, it would. So this game is a lot stricter ah. with. Uh, oh well, no, you're playing on easy mode, so that's it, so as long as you don't destroy the part, you can salvage it. Really? Um, yeah. <coughs> so you don't have to knock anything off of the uh, off of the thing. It'll just it'll just be there. Um, but if you're playing on normal mode, like a real gamer. Um, like a real, uh, like a like a real boy. Mm-hmm. Um, you would know that uh, you, you can't. It can still see you. <laughs> no, because it it already found me. Yeah, but you were still hiding in the. You were still hiding in the red grass. Yeah, no, but doesn't it like? Hold on. It'll. It knows you're there. I know. That's what I was saying. Is that like, motherfucker? Uh, no, but um, uh, like, I forgot my point. <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong, eat shit. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, but in normal mode, you you have to, like, mm-hmm. knock off certain parts. Yeah, that was always a, it was a challenge, but it was fun. Um, just to, like, get everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, the, the knocking off of specific parts. Or one thing that I hated, I forget what their actual, like, um... The like name was in the game, but they were like the ostrich looking motherfuckers. Oh yeah, yeah. The one where you had to like puncture their sound sacks on their chest. Mm-hmm. Like that was, um, that was, that was a guy that I always had trouble with, but he was a lot of fun to like specifically pick out his parts. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That was just something that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Enjoyed. Um. Shit, we can't finish a story, can we? No, we have too much of ADHD. We have too much ADHD. It hitched it. Um, but you were finishing gay boyfriend story, or did you already? Finish I already that? finished it. Like I just yelled, I just yelled, I got gay boyfriend. Oh yeah, gay boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there is a thing there. Yeah. I'm blind. You are. So there's a thing that. Um, <laughs> So if you have ADHD, hashtag relatable content here, <laughs> um, you know the plight of having something in your hand and it disappearing. Oh, God. Or, yeah. like, just not being able to uh, actively, um, you know, remember <laughs> where you put shit. I always call that as, like, ADD blindness. Yeah. Because... You have your ADD blinders on? Yeah, I have my ADD blinders. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, it's like, it's just, I know I don't, but I know games. Stop <laughs> telling me things. I you mean, you put I, it on tell me things game. I know because I need that, but I don't like the fact that I need that. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh look, it's a kiosk. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Can I please get? Uh, oh my. God. Oh my God. That's so funny. What? Because uh, this is a. You said kiosk, and uh, that remind that reminded me that this game Gorilla Games is a Dutch company. Is it? Yeah. And I mean, I um. Uh, hello, Li- Lian Lianez. 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 Um, but yeah, give to fixes. Lianez literally, White. literally any game r- that requires you to destroy and knock off specific parts of enemies is so hard for me. Yeah, no, it's a challenge. That's part of the, that's part of the get good gaming part of the game. The get good. Uh, and then she says, losing my glasses around my face. Re- hashtag relatable. Um, Nana wants us to sing. La la la, la 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 la. La la, la la la, la 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 la. la. <laughs> you're we, welcome. Yes, you're welcome. 
you owe us one now. Yes, yeah. You now have to sing for us. Yeah, sing. Sing and chat. And make sure that we can hear you all the way <laughs> in our uh, undisclosed location. Yes, undisclosed location. Um, <laughs> I think um, that explains the smell. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, shit. I always want to, like... I always feel like I have something to say, and then I can't remember what the fuck I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. I hate it. My yeah. brain. I know. I think. I think. I think we're we're bonding with some people in chat with just you know living that way. Um, scan the area. That's a training dummy. Oh wait, is that a thing? No, that's a training dummy. Oh, but wait, what about this? Is that a thing? That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a small supply cache. Oh, good. For I can ka-chay. supply small cache. A small cache. Small, small cache. Um, oh yeah, but uh, not oh, sorry. The Dutch thing. Uh, not only is the company Dutch, but one of the characters in the game is Dutch, and it's a very important to her character. Really? Yeah. Although that's a bit of a spoiler. Oh well, I don't care about spoilers because I'll probably just forget it. Yeah, I know. Like, um, fucking shit. What was I? Again, <laughs> the, the, the fucking thing. I can like, I cannot, for the life of me, keep myself. On track. Mm-hmm. Like. Well, just as long as you play the goddamn game. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I can, James. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know if this is the kind of responsibility that I can take. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm certain you've taken a lot in your life. So. So we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I earned four hundred dollars, <laughs> but, <laughs> but but we don't talk about that. That's a that's a kind of my life that I am I am willing for the right price to bring back up. But <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Oh my god, <clears throat> I just <laughs> so <laughs> to be self deprecating. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I do I want to tell this story? No, not on chat. Not on not stream. Not on chat. Not on stream. It's a funny story, but I probably don't want to say it. Yeah, funny no. Funny things I, have happened for me for very uh let's just say precarious <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and so like just the, the just the just the notion of uh it's just I want to tell so many things, but they're like they're they're not stream They're not stories. stream friendly. No, no they're not. <laughs> yeah, this like, is a uh, this is this is also interesting too because this is not this is very much like how we record the podcast, which is just sort of raw and uncut. Well, and, yeah, you like know. for for the people who listen to the podcast, very little is actually edited. Yeah, like it's it's just it's it's a uh, it's touched up to make it sound a little bit better, and then the intro and outro are put in, but that's it. Yeah, like other than ooh, I can make stuff now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, you put you put your right foot in, you, you put, put your right foot out, you, you put, put your right, right foot in, in and then you, you make a pull cut. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot in, you put your <laughs> Yeah, and then and then you make a pull caster. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you do the hokey pokey and uh, you turn yourself around and that's how humanity died. Yes. The 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 Roger Debris. Mhm. The Roger to pre mm-hmm. is a versatile tool. Oh, good for itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, do I have it uh, equipped? Yeah, it's already equipped. So how you pull it out is you aim. <laughs> how I whip it out? Yeah, how you whip out your pull caster. Yeah, there you go. You oh, and just tap triangle? Yeah, tap triangle. Oh. Hmm. And then you just switch. Now you have to aim it on something that it can hook to. So you see the X's? And the o- o- O's, they haunt me? Yeah. My head canon for that song is um, is that it's about a zombie apocalypse. Really? Yeah. And th- no, you need to pull two. There's the other one that that you're crawling Eat on. Shit. Uh. <laughs> um, the the idea is that you have no. There you go. Um, eh. uh, the I lo- uh, nope. You have to pull. You have to stand oh, back further. I thought it was just like a hold down. No 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 no. Y- yeah yeah. You hold down, and then if you're too close to it, she won't pull harder. I love how pulling things out of rubble makes it explode. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works in real life. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, no, no. My headcanon for that, the X is an O song, is that uh, she is that the, the X's that haunt her are zombies that she's created because she's a, she's a, car- she's a vector for the zombie virus. That's <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. And so, like, the, the, 
uh, and so like the 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 music video would be her just like running from something, and then slowly it gets revealed that like that they're they're her ex boyfriends, and then it slowly gets revealed that her ex boyfriends are all zombies. Oh, that's fun. And then and then they're all coming after her. I mean, that's fun. Yeah, that's that's my headcanon for that song. That's that's an absolute fun time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel like some of that some got some got scanned. That's a that's a viral. Viral. Your friend Varl. My friend Varl? Yeah. Varl. Varl. Varl Weezer. <laughs> um, you can... Uh, oh, wait. Is that an X that I can... No, like? that's, that's, a, that's a thing that you can, you can double jump and latch onto with your pole caster. Oh. So, like... No, you just jump. A jump and then, like... No, not w- no. You don't you don't swing it out. It, it automatically it, does I'm it. I'm scared. <laughs> you just, or at least I think. I don't, it's it's well, been it's, to like it's been weeks since I've played this area. Well, it's like uh, there's this. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a grapple point. Yeah, grapple points. So if you just yeah, so that little circle. Oh so yeah. So you just the, you get close enough and then press X to so jump and then X in the air. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. Yeah, it actually uh, it speeds up um it speeds up climbing quite a bit. Ooh, nice. Because I know, like, they added, um, like, a lot of stuff in. Ah. So grapple and. <laughs> so so do this. Do the thing. Because um, I know they added, like, a lot of, um, like, stuff that you can adventure in. Because don't they have, like, you can now swim underwater for prolonged yeah. periods of time? Yeah. Now? You, g- uh, you can swim underwater now. And then you get a, you get a rebreather um, at some point in the game. Ooh. Huh, that's actually really cool. Um, I love this game a lot. Mm-hmm. This game is so much fun. Um, but like, if you you can now you can pull cast that item box that you just missed. Oh, is that a? Oh, yeah. You can pull. Yeah, so you can just 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 latch on it, latch on it, and pull. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know. Did it, I just, did it, it flew just away. It off? Yeah, it just, yeah, you did. I think it's. I think it's on the. I think you it's think on the it's lower on the level now. Yeah, it's on the lower level now. Oh Look. no! <laughs> well, you lowered the the rope thing, so you, you can just drop down there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just that thing got yeeted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anything with that um that 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 the blue X's on them, you can pull cast. Huh. So you can interact it with you can interact it with your polecaster. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I was talking with my um with my boyfriend. Um he he likes video games. He just can't play them because he's broken. Mm-hmm. Um and he doesn't have really good reflexes. But we were talking about what we like in a game, and my thing is always I like narrative. <coughs> Everybody talks about like game mechanics and um like like how what a game looks like or its novelty and function, and I'm like, is there a story there? Yeah, that's um, that's a that's a thing that I have with video games. I've I've talked to people about this before, but like, video games don't need a story because video games are mechanics first, you know. Because yeah. like the first video games are Pong and you know Mario. They're just they're goals put before you that you then are puzzles that you have to solve. And like, there's there's merit in that, but I, like for yeah. me to like fully engage with something or get obsessed with it, I'm like, I want a story there. Yeah, and so while video games create a really unique way of engaging with a story, mm-hmm. uh, I, I feel often, uh, which is where you get ludonarrative narrative dissonance, the idea of the disconnect between the the experience of playing the game versus the narrative that it's putting forward. Yeah. Um, that like, that's, that's kind of the, the, the core problem of ludo narrative dissonance is that like to narratively justify all the things you can do in a game is often not done. Huh. This game, I will say does a lot to not hide its video gameness, but justify why it's a video game, why video game this stuff, mm-hmm. you know, cause like the focus is why you have a HUD and yeah. why you know where markers are and stuff like that. Now, granted this game, I think kind of like leans into, we've established how this world works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna, um, like explain everything again. Well, actually we should. So <laughs> you dumb shits out there. <laughs> um, 
and uh, you know, so like, so uh, this 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 game is an exception. But there's a ton of games where it's like, you know, um, like you have to do a hacking mini game to open a door, but mm-hmm. narratively you're just pushing some buttons and then opening a door. Yeah, you know, like it's it's just very weird. Um, all right, now to ask a uh, Barbie question. What is your favorite Barbie movie and the absolute worst one? Okay, so favorite one, Barbie in the Pink Shoes. Yes. Hands no, down. That's hands both down. James and yeah. I's favorite Barbie That's movie. the only good movie of uh, the Barbie canon. Worst one. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the... Okay, so we... As we were watching all of the movies... We came into, like, this really weird kind of, like, question that we had for ourselves. Like, we had a like we had a moment where we had to come to terms with the fact that we're Barbie fans now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, a, that is in an episode that's in an unco- upcoming episode where we yeah, have that breakdown. Like, we were like, fuck, are we Barbie fans? <laughs> I think we are. And it, then we started to question, like, okay, so is our perception and our enjoyment of Barbie stuff making these movies better? Mm-hmm. Or are they actually just getting better the ones that we're watching? Yeah. Um, well, we we had a moment with that too, where we where we watched a really shitty one that was current, and we were just like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Just some of these were better than others. <laughs> mm-hmm. So like when you say like what's my what's the worst one? I'm like, oh god, a lot of them are really bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which I I will say, um, the the um the one that i have the most ire towards is barbie and mermaid's tale that one really that one was really hard yeah that one that one for me mostly because i had to watch it twice for mm-hmm. the, or i ended up watching it twice for the podcast within like a day or two of each other cuz that was that was like our second episode and we were trying to do a um a uh how did this get made style podcast where we had notes that we would reference and stuff and then we just kind of realized that no we're just gonna we're not gonna stay on topic long enough to really reference notes Mm -hmm. um like we tried to yeah and it was funny too because like initially because the first episode we did notes on um but we both you know like we, we both watched it and then uh we talk about this in an episode, but like we both watched it, then we watched it individually, and it was this whole thing. And so then the second episode, but after that episode, we were just like, you know, like the note taking thing was a lot of, a lot of work that kind of felt unnecessary because we didn't reference it in the in the episode all that much. And so, um, uh, yeah, and it, oh yeah, if you for the grapple points, if it's flashing like that, then you can jump, then you can get to it. Oh, I can just jump to it. Yeah, you can just jump to it. Okay, Don't you d- jump. Don't use your fucking pole caster. <laughs> Um, you you press X twice and it she shoots it out. Oh, it's a double tap. Yeah, but you have to be far enough away for it to go. Each no no farther away, dude. Yeah, that's what it was. Farther away. Yeah, farther away, James. Farther away. <laughs> far 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 away. Far 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 away. Um, but yeah, and so so for the um, so for the mermaid tail, we decided that okay maybe one of us is gonna do um the yeah. the notes and then we'll reference it and uh and so i decided to to uh i decided to be the um the the, the guinea pig <laughs> that's, that's like fucking one of the rocks just went like just went right through her head yeah no it just it, she pulls things open and they explode it's really funny that's some that's some video game bullshit that like doesn't make sense that, that narratively they're just like yeah doesn't really we're not going to answer this um so I was the only one who ended up watching it twice and then writing notes on it. And then it was just, it was just fucking awful. It was so bad. So like as much as we love the Barbie franchise, mm-hmm. like full stop, it's sometimes their movies can just be a slog to get through. Mm-hmm. Like um, the Barbie diaries. Oh yeah. That one was really, I think I don't. So th- it's okay. So there's this weird, um, I don't know how much like validity this statement has, mm-hmm. but like there was a theorist, like a literary theorist, talking about like the difference between narratives written by women versus ones written by men. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's so weird because she's like, the male narrative is based around the male orgasm <laughs> and the male <laughs> climax about like these these big things. Because when you take a sword and penetrate a dragon, you're coming it kind of like the whole idea behind it was um 
like since the cl- since like male climaxes are um, built around like a grand finale about like the catharsis the, the catharsis of mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. Um, that it affects how narratives are told mm. when it's a female thing it's more about like um, kind of not necessarily like s- going around but like mulling on things more mm-hmm. so there isn't necessarily a climactic event it's more of just like building up drama does that make sense yeah 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 and it was really weird was that like actually makes a lot of sense for uh for heaven officials blessing <laughs> really <laughs> it's a lot of just like mulling around well it's i thought well it just the notion of like orgasms are the way we tell stories <laughs> is just a really weird idea to me yeah like it to me, it feels almost like a little bit disingenuous about mm-hmm. like no, because there's a there's a craft and a well told tale mm-hmm. that like anybody, regardless of you know bits and pieces that you're doing, um, it feels like it should be universal thing, not something based in quote unquote primal gender or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know. I think that's just that might just be a me thing, mm-hmm. but it was so weird to like. Because, like, my thing, also another hashtag ADD relatable moment, um, is the fact that uh, reading is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the sense of, like, I, I'm i a dumb shit, which I am, uh, but it's that my mind gets too distracted to where if I'm not 100% like engaged with something or if I'm not using my faculties um, to uh, shit. Uh, Kill um, it. If I'm not using my like complete and total faculties. Use a heavy, use a heavy attack. Oh not yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just knock it on the ground. Eh. Um, but if I'm not using like all of my body, no, hold down heavy attack. I still killed it. I know, but you could knock it to the, like if you, if you hit it, Hard enough, it'll fall over, and then you can critical critical hit it, and then Why are you scanning it? So I can just remember where to aim. Oh, if you just if you just click scan, it it highlights those. You don't have to. Yeah, if you don't, you don't have to hold it down. <laughs> and then, oh, do you not know how to hold? Do you not remember how to hold your breath? Um, no. Is that already like an ability that you can? Yeah, do? yeah. That's already. Yeah, you know, that's something that you. That's something like, you I can automatically do. Um, or wait, no. I think it is an unlockable ability. Concentration. No, I thought concentration was was thing. Here, draw your bow real quick. F- like fully draw it back, and then click one of the like the 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 right analog stick. Left analog. Yeah. Oh. Oh wait, no, 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 no. The 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 thing was like to increase that. Yeah, yeah, increase it and, and augment it, but you can still do that. Oh, uh, I thought like you had to like unlock, unlock it. it. Well, in the first game you had to unlock it. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, in in this game it's just there's a couple of things in this game that like, that, like were on that were unlockables, but in the first game, but um you know but like 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 just. yeah th- that are just already there like you can already silent strike things and oh nice you know, um now it just sort of augments it and makes it more useful okay that's cool um that was and that was your answer for uh the absolute worst barbie movie <laughs> was uh all stories are based on the male or female orgasm yeah just we getting into some fun gender theory stuff mm-hmm, some i wouldn't gender call it mucky nonsense muck. but it is nonsense. Uh, well, mm, mm, yes and no. <laughs> it's 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 a nonsense that matters. It's a sense that no. Uh, it's yes and no. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Da 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 da. Um. If you have any more questions for us, chat, feel free to go ahead. I will. I will read them in betwixt our rants and asides. Honestly, everything is gonna be. Rants and asides, because mm-hmm. like, I just I don't know, just how we talk, yeah, is so erratic. Yeah, it really is. It just like I I have to like make mental like 
waypoints back to earlier points of a, of a conversation. So I know when I know I could finish a, an idea or a story. Yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's always some, it's just, I don't know. It's, uh, Oh, that's a useful thing now. What? Being able to like, just go down and craft. Yes. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. Um, that, that f- you can craft like equipped items um, and then you can change, uh, you can change what's equipped in your your pack. I never really had to change much in the pack mm-hmm. um, because uh, because it was just um, you know I, I very rarely used traps mm-hmm. in my playthrough, and on to- and on top of that, um, uh, it was just your pack is like big enough to where you can fit most every item usable item in the game in it Hmm. so i never had to change it out really unless there's a there's a food mechanic now where you can get hungry or no where you there are there are people who there are chefs that you find out in the forbidden west um and they will if using um local foraging local ingredients uh like you know different plants and stuff so you're not just picking up like herbal wheat or or like uh, herbal um, healing weeds and uh, and sticks, you know, you're actually like picking up berries and other stuff. Um, huh. You can use those and and like meat from hunting and stuff, so you can use that as. Because I remember there was like meat and different things. Yeah, and you could you could eat it, but like I don't think it was really ever cooked. I don't remember it being cooked in the first game, but the second one, um, uh, th- in this this one they they it like th- it just gives you different effects. You know, different different foods give you different things. Huh. Um, let's see. Do you have any other games planned for this, or is this, or are you just going to decide when the time comes? So, so c- currently, we have two games planned. This is the first. Um, then, and we have another one when this one's finished, or or when we get to a point where we may have like exhausted the audience for this game. I don't know. Um, and we are not against changing it up if we feel like it. Yeah, like like think like, yeah, think of it as like like Horizon's going to be the game we play and for for a while. Um, but if something else comes out and we're excited about it, or like um, I know I, I I haven't been keeping up to speed with um, like this one uh, with Horizon. No, no, not with Horizon, but the one that I was about to suggest was horizon uh, Horizon. (laughs) no but i love um you and i both love um uh beyond good and evil yeah i don't know what that that one that that that, that, that's just yeah that's in limbo again like they they announced they announced the sequel or they announced the next game and then um and then they just and then it just disappeared it's been it's been a couple of years and they haven't announced any new information about it it's it's just something yeah if if something happens with that game we are stopping everything and playing it cuz i love that ge- that game and i it's just it makes my brain buzz in mm-hmm. a good way mm-hmm. cuz like i remember when we had the original ps2 I, you know, I still actually haven't fully beat that game really yeah, no, I get to the, you know the part that everybody gets stuck yeah, at? Yeah, the, like the, the two, the two, the two guards the that, two are, guards like that are right next to each other. Yeah, and, and like it's just time it absolutely perfectly. Or yeah, it it's, it's insane. I, I think I remember it took me a long time to beat that. And I think what it was is I just had to wait. I had to, to wait until I could sneak attack one enough because it's like because you can sneak attack one and then his friend comes over to try and help him and then like if you sneak the it sneak attack the other guy enough times and kill him and then run away you're you you're good yeah but it was a whole thing it was it was it was so hard um but like that i still it just that game and its mechanics are just so nice uh because i love the photography element of Mm -hmm. that video game Mm -hmm. it it added something just so, I don't know. It just made it so unique and so special mm-hmm. um, because I don't, it just, I don't know. And also like, it's a female led protagonist mm-hmm. like that. It, that video game is just so good. Yeah. Like Pamela uh, Anderson and barbed wire, Pamela Anderson and barbed wire. Yeah. There was a video game adaptation of that movie. I don't know what barbed wire is. It's a cyber. It's a really shitty 90s cyberpunk movie. Oh, is it? Yeah. Or Pamela Anderson in the video game adaptation of VIP. 
did Pamela Anderson just do a shit ton of like video game stuff? That she a, a a number of her things that she worked on got turned into video games. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Like, um, it's so weird when you get like these random celebrities that just like that just do shit. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> I just I don't know. What's Technic your favorite random celebrity uh, in a video game? Yeah. Um. Well, there's Leonard Nimoy as Seaman, I think. Uh, Leonard Nimoy was in a video game randomly years ago. I can't remember what it is, but it's like his face on a fish body. Really? <coughs> yeah. Let me let me look it up real quick. Huh. I. There are just one thing that I absolutely love is just finding and uh, you're a family friend of. Um, James's has this inexplicable ability to just find the weirdest shit that celebrities have been in. Mm -hmm. um, like, that's how we found out about, okay, if you guys, it's really funny that this was also referenced in the Joker movie, um, but Zorro the Gay Blade, <laughs> if you guys can find that movie, watch it. It is absolutely hilarious. Mm -hmm. But um, there's like, what? who was the actor that was like in the, he was like a really well, well renowned actor, wasn't he? In Gay Blade? Yeah, he was like in the He's the Toasty guy. Uh, I know Toasted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him? Yeah. yeah. He's like in the mob in the very beginning of that movie. And um, oh, he's not in the mob. No, it, no, not the mob, but like, isn't he? He's in the first few scenes. He's not a big role in the. Oh, oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. In in the Gable, no, it's the it's the guy, it's the husband of the guy that he, uh, it's the husband of the wife that he's sleeping with, the main character. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and so, um, so yeah, it, and it, and he he's done other things, but he was a bit part in that film. Yeah. So when they went to, it, I, it was like some kind of convention. But they brought out Zorro, the gay blade, and they wanted him to sign it. And he was like, I'm not in this. <laughs> and they go, no, you are. <laughs> and, and then they, I remember that because I, because uh, my friend, her name is, uh, her name is Blair. Um, I got her hooked on conventions because I took her to one for her birthday one year. And then she just started because she's always been a huge like nerd in that way. Mm -hmm. Um and so, uh, and so now she, she, and she had not been a part of the con scene before I took her. So then she was like, oh, like I can actually meet and interact with these people. And so then it just became this addiction for her essentially. Um, and so, yeah, she just has this uncanny ability to, f she, she finds the things that she loves and then she finds anyone and anything connected to it. Like she has had literally every voice, every actor in every Riddick video games sign her copy of the two Riddick video games. It's honestly really impressive. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and, and it's just, it's this whole crazy thing. But no, in that moment, uh, I can't remember the actor's name. He's a character actor. Um, but they brought that movie because they love that movie and he was, in, he was in that scene. And he's like, I'm not in this movie. He's like, oh, yes, you are. He's like, what are you talking about? And then, because her and her mom both do this. And then I think it was her mom, her or her mom started quoting the scene line for line to him. And then he remembered. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's really funny because like he did the, he did like the older celebrity to who, where he's kind of just tired thing about like, hi, yeah, cool name. Cool. Okay. Go by. And then when it came to them, he like leaned back in his chair mm -hmm. and was just like, huh? And his agent came home. And was like, hey, no, that's a different story. That's oh, that a different story. No, Am that's, uh, those you're combining those two. No, no, no. So the, the other story that you're referencing is when she met William Shatner. Oh, what was the thing that she brought William? Shatner uh, she to? had a producer's copy of the made for TV movie based off of the book series. That's that right, he wrote he asked if he could tech have wars. It. Yeah. Um, so my, my friend, uh, so first William Shatner wrote a sci-fi series called tech wars. And then in the nineties or early two thousands, there was a TV movie based off of the, the one, I think like the first book or something. And that I think would may have been like a backdoor pilot or something like that. I, I'm not certain. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so, um, so she went, so uh, at somehow, I think one of her brothers found a VHS copy of the movie, but it was a producer's copy, meaning that it was only meant for producers to see it. And it was supposed to be destroyed after, like after it had been, 
after it had been finished. So it was like, so it's the full movie edited and everything, but it still has like time codes on it. And it's got like a, like an opening and ending thing with information for producers and stuff. And so, uh, and it's just one of her favorite like nerd items that she has. Um, and, uh, and so William Shatner was coming to a convention and so she, they got, her and her mom got VIP tickets so they didn't have to wait in line. They went up to him and when they were in line, uh, the, his handler was like, okay, like he, he does the, he does like hundreds of these all the time. Um, he's pretty utilitarian about it. He's just in and out. He's not really, he's going to say hi, like he's going to be nice, but he's not going to spend time and chat with you. And he's not going to be, you know, super gregarious or anything. And they're like, that's fine. We just want a signature and say hi. Like we're not, we're not looking to become friends with this guy. And so, uh, and so then I stand off to the side because they have the VIP tickets. I don't. And I feel like if I'm waiting in line with them, I'm kind of like getting an experience I didn't pay for. Um, and so I just sort of waited off for them to be done. So I'm watching this happen and I wasn't actually next to him, but I just see them go up to, uh, to William Shatner and he's just kind of down looking down at the table, like, you know, just signing stuff and moving on. And then they, they put the stuff down. They say, hi, uh, he, you know, he goes to sign it and he stops and he takes the, takes the VHS thing, uh, VHS box, just flips it over a little. And then he just, um, you know, and then he's just staring at it. And then his handler comes over because his handler is scared um, that something wrong has happened. And so he, he's like, is everything okay? What's going on? And then William Shatner just shushes him with his finger, like shoves his <laughs> finger in his face and then looks at my, my friend Blair and her mom. And he's just like, how do you have this? And then like the handler's like, is something wrong? He's like, yes, I don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he, he actively... Um, asked if he could have it and they were yeah. like no yeah and and it was funny because like he spent a good 10 to 15 minutes with them talking to them uh it, it, just about like the how they got it and what's going on and all this other stuff and they got to spend more time with him than i think any fan like that year at the very least got to spend time <laughs> with him <laughs> it's because really great because they brought him a copy of of tech wars like i love the fact that um like Blair and her family just have these weird abilities to just do random shit. Oh yeah, they're the most lu- they're the the unluckiest lucky people I know. It's it is absolutely hysterical because I love hearing stories about them. Mm-hmm. Like you, they have like a million and one just because you lived with them for how long? Uh, two three years, something like that. Um, and just there are so many stories James has mm-hmm. about these people and their wacky adventures and. Like and honestly, I will describe them as full wacky <laughs> adventures. <laughs> they are they are kind of kooky at times. It's really funny. Uh, at times, <laughs> they're very <laughs> kooky. They're very kooky people. They are they are very kooky people. But very endearing in that sense. Because mm-hmm. like, um, freaking. Oh god, uh, th- I'm trying to think of another story, but I, the only one that's popping to my mind is a sad one. Oh okay, well then don't tell <laughs> yeah, that. So one. I'm not gonna. <laughs> keep this light and fun Mm -hmm. and to fill a frivolity um but like they're just really nice people yeah i I will i I will tell this one funny one because it's just kind of it's also in line with their sense of humor Mm -hmm. um but it was when we were first kind of getting to know each other i think we'd known each other for the better part of a year at that point and i was and and, uh blair and her family are just sort of like a, a hodgepodge of shitty genetic uh hands that have been they've been dealt um and so like she has a lot of like really rare allergies and stuff like citrus is one of them garden peppers is another one um like she cannot for the life of her no like if she has a lemon she'll die um and uh and so uh at one point we were we were out we were hanging out and i would i mentioned like oh here's a thing like here's a we were looking for something and they, she was looking for something specific. And I was like, oh, well, here's the thing. It's like, oh, no, no, no. It has something in it that'll, like, kill me. And I was like, why are you not in a plastic bubble? And then she just stares at me. He's like, because I'd be allergic to the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's honestly so true. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's not a lie. She's allergic to plastic. Like, it's, it, uh, like, this woman, in everything that she does for the life of her, is just allergic Mm-hmm. And I think it's, it's, I don't want to say endearing. I just think it's really funny because the universe is fully going like, wah, wah. Yeah, this is kind of what happens. I, I remember uh, this was one story that um, 
you told me that I think is really great mm -hmm. where it's um, it's not great, but it's it's really <laughs> funny because it also just shows like the kind of person that she and her family can be. So since she's allergic to citrus, um, like literally nothing can touch it. Mm -hmm. And there was no this that that was not Blair that was her mom. Oh, that was her mom. Yeah, her mom's also allergic to citrus. Yeah, they're the same thing. <laughs> <They're pretty laughs> Kinda, <much. laughs> like uh, they're 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 really similar. But they went to uh, if you know the great southern eatery known as Cracker Barrel. Mm. Uh, <laughs> they went to one and uh, like the they kept on specifically ordering water without lemon. Mm -hmm. And every time you come back, the glass would have lemon on it. And she well, was just it, like. No, I need it without lemon. I'm allergic, and it just kept on going, and then kept on giving her back with lemon. Well, so no, she was no, like, it, you know what? It was it wasn't it. it wasn't that. What it was is that uh, she asked for no lemon, and then they brought the they brought it back, and the only thing they did was just take the lemon wedge off the side. The way that you told me the story the first time was that they kept on bringing it back with a thing of lemon, um, and I, that afterwards they just were like, "Fuck it," and take out. Take off the lemon. Take yeah. The lemon well, that, that ultimately, back. that's what happened is that they like it just was this thing, and they're like, "No, I'm allergic. Please don't. Please take this away." And so then they just took it off, not wipe, not giving her a new glass or anything. And so she was like, "All right." And so she started drinking it. And when she imbibes <laughs> lemon, uh, her mouth um, starts bleeding. Yeah, like just becomes uh, just uh, just starts f just she just gets all these blisters in her mouth. And then they pop, and then they just bleed. And so she's, you know, she's drinking water, and there's blood in the <laughs> there's blood in her cup, and like her the waiter's like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And she's like, "There's lemon in my cup." <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's awful that that happened to her. Mm -hmm. But it's really funny that she was like, "There's lemon." Yeah, I well, told you, <laughs> no lemon. Well, they're they're a lot more they're a lot more polite than that. I kind of but put like I, I but like yeah. to imagine that that's what they are. They're really sweet people, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't make it like they they don't like twist the knife when they put it in. Mm -hmm. But like I like to imagine that scene as if she did, mm -hmm. it, and it's just really funny for me. Mm -hmm. I love that they're they're really we know some really weird fucking people. Yes, we do. I like so. Uh, like, it, I think it's really funny because um, we've talked about this in our, like, not in our podcast, but in our real life about how um, James and I consider our, like, life to be akin to a sitcom. Mm -hmm. And we at many times have, like, pitched episodes to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite one is, so we have a really big family, mm -hmm. like, strangely big family. Like, there were five boys on one side and they all had at least two children and then there are secret children every so often and it's just it's just nuts mm -hmm. it, but it's great because we have a big lovely family we ended up having a pitch for an episode that was like um <laughs> that we rent out a fucking uh theme park for thanksgiving <laughs> and everybody in that theme park is related we may not know how but we know that we're related yeah 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 and i just like that just like hi cousin what what, like, I, don't, what, what I, don't, I don't fucking know okay and i just i love that i love that idea i would pay to see that mostly just because like haha -ha, it relates to me and i can see myself finally but it's also just really nice and really fun and I just, I don't know. I like these things. <laughs> they make me happy. I deserve some happiness despite current belief in legislation. If I'm going to get hashtag <gasps> political. Oh, my God. Ooh, what, what, what? Oh, my Ooh, God. Okay, so this is, okay, this is interesting. What is interesting? I, oh. um, so I just learned that uh, I don't know when this dropped. But um, Barbie has a new series that's based off of Big City Dreams. Is it with um, Brooklyn? It's, it's with Barbie and Barbie. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's no. Barbie It Takes Two. Because I know that uh, she, um, <coughs> I know that the, the gals mm -hmm. um, are really kind of like going with each other on stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, or at least how it seems to be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you just charge up a, pow uh, a heavy attack, you can knock that on its ass and not have to deal with it. You know, I 
am playing how I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't change that for anything. Oh, God. This is me. This is who I am. <laughs> this is my identity. It's my identity. It isn't a phase, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like you, uh, you hate how I play video games. I do. You're wrong. It's just you're just you're just wrong. You just I don't wrong. know what I'm doing that like makes you so annoyed. Uh, breathing. I mean, I can try to stop that. I don't know how successful it would all be, but mm-hmm. you know, we can we can play around. <coughs> You know, spitball some some non breathing techniques. Uh, Nana has your back. She says, uh, "Will is not wrong. You are wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit. Die. Yes. Um, let the let the gaze rule. Mm-hmm. Let us let us just have this one thing. You know, you gotta shoot the orange thing. Yeah, I, I did shoot the orange thing. Oh, sorry. I'm 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 watching chat. Oh, you're so watching. Chat. Yeah. So there's there's so, a, so there's a delay. There's a delay. I think that's really funny. Well, you know what's what's even funnier is that I'm I'm watching the delay and my commentary is still relevant. It's still well, yeah, <laughs> my criticisms like, are still relevant. Still, still actively relevant. Yeah. Is there anything above, or do I just? Uh, oh yeah, there is. You didn't see the big floaty thingy. What big floaty thingy? Uh, the icon that said that there was the grapple there. What, what, uh, oh, I'm sorry. The grapple. Hold on. No, no, no. I was, uh, I was, I was, uh, I was behind again laggy oh okay because like there was there was this thing no you go you go up though yeah but i was just saying like is there something that i'm missing didn't get high enough you can oh no no no. okay so when you're when you're being pulled up you can jump again and you will be launched up oh so like um yeah, so jump, tap X, grapple points, and then oh, sir, tap circle, wall, wall. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. This is this is new. This yeah. is this is new information. Yeah, you do that maybe four times in the game. <laughs> <laughs> like at four specific instances. Yeah, like it's to. I I I never used it beyond the tutorial, really. Uh huh. Interesting. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Oh wait, no, there was a thing down there. Eh. I gotta get a chest. I gotta I gotta do a a Twitter um uh poll to see when would be the best time to do these things. To do these things. Cause yeah, because just so many people are uh, like busy right now. They're like either they're busy or um or like you know they're they're in other places around the world, and so I don't know if maybe doing this in the evening would be better. It might be, but like just today, since everything's the trial run right now. Yeah. Um. um but no, I'll um, I'll actually uh, I'll I'll do a Twitter probably uh, a Twitter post later today. Just asking be like, hey everybody, what will be the most convenient time to do? What these would things? be the most convenient time for you? Everybody <laughs> who's currently not here gets to vote. <laughs> Yes, all four people. All four people who are currently watching this stream. You guys get to vote. Mm-hmm. You special few. All right. Uh, Nana says, uh, so Will, what is the most surprising to you? James's claims claim to fame is to play a gay character or the fact that the character is the top? <laughs> I didn't think <laughs> I didn't finish <laughs> reading the question until I read it aloud. <laughs> you know, I actually, I actually have given, I actually have given this thought. Oh, really? As to if Watchung is a top been, or not. This has been something that you've been. Yeah, I, I, I anticipated a, a question of if I thought he was a top or not. Oh my god, that's um, really funny. And and my answer is that Huachung is verse. But, but Shelian is Shelian is also verse, but prefers to bottom. So he's a verse bottom and a verse top. Yeah, like they're both verse, but he just wants to do what Shelian wants, and Shelian just wants to make him feel good. So he's bottoming and he's topping. That's 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 ultimately fair. I'll yeah. give you that. Yeah. So I, that's so he's not he, he's not a dedicated top. <laughs> he's just whatever his partner. He's not wants. committed to any which way. No, 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 no. Like if like if if there was ever a moment where ah, you know. Shielian wanted to get more aggressive. You, that's the, that's not the right kind of grass, I think. This is that is though, yes. But they um, see me. like he would, he would totally. Uh, 
you know, he'd, he'd totally lube up for, for his uh, scrap Eat collecting shit. guy. Die. Ah. See, I'm really bad at video games, guys. Yeah, because you keep doing the wrong things. Cause, no, because you can eat my ass. Um, <laughs> you can eat my ass with foie gras. Oh, man. Make I an want, evening out of it. I want, I want foie gras now. <laughs> but, it's, but it's such a gross connection to your it's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you'd ruin really <laughs> I can't believe it's not me. Yeah. I can't believe it's not ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thompson's I can't believe it's not ass. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, I keep seeing you run back to the red grass. When you've triggered the alarm, you can't hide again. Sometimes you can. No. At least in the other game you did. You no. Know, you could, like, score. Yeah, that's the, they've kind of augmented it, uh, oh where wow. it's, y- if you, if, if you, um, if you break line of sight with an enemy long enough, ah. then they'll, th- it'll go to, like, this orange color, and that means that they have an idea, of th- that they're hunting you down, and they have an idea of where you are but you're hidden. Mm. And then if, and then if you stay in that long enough, then, um, uh, then it'll go to them just being confused and hunting you down. And then, um, uh, <laughs> Nano says, James, please don't eat his ass. He's your real bro. Not your step bro. <laughs> step bro. Step brother. What are you doing here? Step brother. What are you doing? I don't. Here? Okay. Here's the thing. I know we could riff on this and be funny, but I don't want to. That's fair. <laughs> like I'm already starting to want to vomit. <laughs> I mean, Hey, if you're ever choking on poison, I at least know. <laughs> I'll just make some step brother jokes. Yeah. We'll just make, uh, just be like, <laughs> he needs 20 cc's of step brother oh, stat um, <laughs> we god so like ah, animal, it's on me oh no ah. yeah we are coming up on the deadline so you gotta so i gotta i gotta i gotta beat a uh, beat beat this beat this yeah you gotta you gotta beat the metal meat i gotta beat the meat mm-hmm. beat the meat to the beat you got to be the Your meat. meat. It's a fan. See treat. I I am uh, disappointed in myself that in watching that episode of Steven Universe did not re- did not recognize that as a masturbation joke. Oh, you didn't? Meat no. Meat Mania? Yeah, Meat Beat Mania. I thought it was a dumb like, yeah, it's just a it's, it's a, a dumb it's a dumb in u- it's a dumb in universe video game. Well, it is, but it's also a masturbation. Game. <laughs> it, can do, it can do two things, <laughs> you know. Do you think Steven knows or can masturbate? Do you think he's a penis? <laughs> 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 See. I don't know. I honestly can't say because, like, he as a character, I think is just that. He's sort of like on the Sora level to where like yeah. to where he he may or may not have a sexuality. If he does, he's definitely not aware of it. Yeah. Well, he he do, he's at the very least he's romantically inclined. I will definitely say he's a romantic person. Sexual, I I cannot say. Mm, true. Fair. Like that is that is one thing cuz I know he has a deep loving connection for Connie. Mhm. But like other than that, I can't, I don't even know if that's like a sexual type thing, you know? Yeah. As gay and as sexually like progressive <laughs> as that show is, yeah. its main character has none of it. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, he's. That's he's also a, by choice though. Yeah. He's a young boy protagonist. Like he's not supposed to. Well, really in the first seasons, yes. In well, the other ones. In the other seasons, he's just a young boy well, it, protagonist. He, like in the other seasons, aren't, isn't. He Aren't they like about to go to college? No, high school. High school? Are yeah, sure? they're in grade. Thought, no, they're in grade school, and then it ends with them going into high school. I, I thought um, there's a lot of like fan art of him being in college. Because I thought that like the whole thing in the second season was that like um, Connie was about to go to college. Um, or was it she just no, like preparing um, for? College? No, I think I think it was school. I think it was like high school, and she was, go- or she may have been going to college. I don't know. Um, there's a, a piece of uh, shrapnel on the side of the building that you can pull cast out. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. No, I, it took me a while to find it, too. That's why I was like, ooh, he's having issues with the same thing. See, this is also part of the reason why we're here mm-hmm. with each other is uh, two heads can play a video game, mm-hmm. but one head can get a girl pregnant. 
<laughs> All right. Two heads, it's a porn. <laughs> Two heads are a porn. <laughs> Two heads, heads are, are a porn. porn. They're a porn. They're a porn. Uh, God, uh, oh, my God. You know what I want everybody to, like, know about just because I want to sow some discourse? Mm. Um, is Where's the thing to jump on? Uh, go, go inside again. Uh, is it like an elevator? No. I, oh, I no. Oh, no. I think there's a box that you got to find, like a crate that you have to find somewhere. And dra- no, 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 no. That's not what it is. Are you sure? Did. Yeah, I don't. Like, it's, it's this. It's definitely this. Yeah. Scan the area real quick and see what you can interact with. Mm-hmm. Um, target. What was that? No, that's just untagged target. That's just the lift. That's the elevator. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can, yeah, you can, that's how you get up there, but I can't remember if there's a, yeah. Oh, you just ah, jump. Ah, there it is. There you we just, go. You just jump. Ah, I did. There are many puzzles where you have to find a crate and then. And you just find like a, like a, like a little slit. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, you, there's a slit that you go into. Yes. In go slits. Mm-hmm. For all your slit purposes. <laughs> um, what was I talking about before? Uh, uh, Steven Universe? Steven Going Universe. Going to college? Going to college. Uh, I forgot. I you forgot. S- you're saying like later seasons he was going in college? Well, l- that's what I thought. I thought in later seasons, um, like a part of the drama was that like Connie was old enough to go to college, so she was leaving Beach City. Mm. Um, and... Ah. Uh, that she was like going to college and so she wasn't going to be around. I don't know. Maybe l- let me let me look it up. Real I quick. could I could I could I be the one thing that I know that I'm never and that's wrong. Um. Uh. Sh- oh, she enters college early. Ah, that's what it is. I knew college was a part of it. Yeah. Uh. Years. Li- okay. Uh. Let's see. What is the time skip between universe and future? Um, I don't remember. Mm. Uh, begins, uh, she sticks by Steve inside as she deals with years worth of suppressed, his years, years is worth of suppressed trauma. His years of suppressed trauma for a kid. Uh, show. Yeah, Steven and Connie decide to meet up with each other as she tours the country on college tours. He tours the world to find himself. It is revealed that the two officially are dating at the end of the series. Huh. Yeah, I thought I was right. See, personality. Doing the research. Yeah. Huh. I knew. I knew it. I knew. You know what he believed. You know, there could be 99 people in a room. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) (laughs) There there is a possibility that there could be 99 people in a room. You don't say. I know. I didn't believe it myself. Uh... Yeah, I think she. Uh, yeah, I think it's. it's Am see. I going? Did I go around in a circle? Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I think I went around in a circle. Oh, I fucked you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to shoot the thing. I did. You have to shoot it again. There's, there's other, there's oh. another one in there. Oh look at that! That's about to fall. Yeah. And it go boom. Eat shit, snakies. Mm-hmm. Snaky snakes. Uh, Steven U's Universe Future shows that Connie's intelligence and studying are paying off as she's going to cram school and getting ready to enter college early. Yeah, so she just... So I guess they're like high school age by the end of the series. Because like the whole thing is that like to indicate age, they gave Steven a neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that was like the, that was that the was, whole thing. That was the running gag, yeah. It was like he has a neck now. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Boom. Oh, look at Aloy. Mm hmm. Almost dying all Con- the time. Yeah. I have a friend who, um, I don't know if she's like an up and coming cosplayer or like how big of a cosplayer she actually is, mm-hmm. but like one of her, um, go to cosplays or the ones that she's working on right now is mm-hmm. Aloy. Nice. She even dyed her hair red just to like, you know, it's so it's so interesting because uh, 
Ashley Birch, the the actress who voices, and I think she does some she does mocap for Aloy as, Aloy as well. She's not the face model though, um, but uh, she's phenomenal. She's fucking phenomenal in this game, by the way. Um, but uh, she's in her mid thirties, and she has gone almost completely gray. Really? Yeah. And so, uh, and so, like looking looking at her, her face is still like thirty something young, but her hair is like shock white. <laughs> so it's just like, wow, there's a. I forget that thirty year olds can look like they're fifty. <laughs> well, ah, uh, fire the weapon. Watch out for vomit. Oh, yeah. Vomit bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They, um, something that I thought was fun in this game is that they, they had more uh, humongo. Big boys. Ro- yeah, big boy robots in this one. Yeah. Um, than they uh, than they had done previously, because in the first game it was just like the, um, it was just the tr- the T Rex and then and the uh, and like the jaguars with the fucking fuck off cannons. Oh and that's yeah. About it. And run up and critical hit it. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the lag. Never mind, <laughs> that's already happened. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Where are, where are its weak points? Oh, yeah, the underbelly. Yeah, you can you can scan it and they'll highlight it if you just click the. Oh, I hit the mic. Oh no, you hit a mic. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, how, fuck, fuck you, how Mike. How dare you? I want a snake. Why? They're cuddly. No, they're not. They're they want to <laughs> cuddle me to death, <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. I can get behind something like that. Well, I mean, it can get around something like that, but I don't know if you. Whoa. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of the way. Get out the way. Oh no. Oh no. Get out the way. Oh no. Get out the way. Get out the way. If you could change your feet, would you do it? Oh, would you let it slip away? Me mum's a beer. She's from the other studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, underbelly shit. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> tink, clink, clink. We're all writhing in pain. Oh, no. Ooh, I reached level two. Hey, congratulations. Now drain its carcass of its goods. Mmm, that carcass. Mm, snake robot carcass. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. There so has to be, there has to be some sort of like fringe cult in this world that eats robot parts. I, I and and as like some sort of uh, like, as like some sort of ritual or something. Like I mean, that would make sense. I don't know. And like they all die of like bowel obstructions <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know how there's like the people who like as a. As like a as a <coughs> fucking oh big boy weapon, this would have been nice. Yeah, I I had the same I had the same reaction where I was just like, what the fuck? This this whole arena was full of these things. <laughs> um, but like, I I feel like you know those people who like eat glass. Mm-hmm. I feel like they would be on the same level. You know? Yeah. Well, that's a that's a psychological thing though. Is that? Yeah, that's a I can't. It's a disorder. I can't well, remember what it's called. Well, no, well, like not to like. Not in oh, the you mean as like is like, like stunts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it would be it would be something similar to that. Mm-hmm. They were like, "I'm a metal eater." Bra bra bra. Yeah. That. There's a there's a clan in this game that uh like a robot clan, Pika. Yeah. Uh, uh, gives you figs. Um, that's what I was referring to. Will was referring to like sideshow stuff. Yeah. Um but you yeah, know there's a clan in this game that uh, I fucking hate. <laughs> really? They're they're fucking they're just the worst. I don't like them. Don't like them at all. No. Well that's a little bit problematic, James. Yeah, it's how bad. can you I, not I'm bigoted against this one clan. Yeah. Why that's that's so 
Oh, something. Uh, uh, this is this is uh, mostly unrelated. Something I really like about this game that I think they kind of leaned into more from the first game, because uh, you know in the first game it was like the 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 story was is that like this program uh, repopulated the earth, so every clan is ethnically diverse. Yeah. Um, it's just location of where you are, not how you look. Yeah. In this game, they don't, they have all of the voice actors speak in their natural voice regardless of context. So if they, like, there's some, um, there's some people who have lisps uh, uh-huh. in this game, um, you know, or if there's, if they have an accent or something like that or yeah. an affectation, they don't try and um, bring everybody to a sort of a, a standard accent. It's everyone just sounds different. Huh. I love that as a player because it's just like, oh yeah, this like this place feels different and interesting and populated with all these different things. But as a as a guy who like knows how to you know knows what story is, mm-hmm. um, I'm just like this makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like why does this guy sound like he's from the south side of Chicago and this guy sounds like he's from West Texas, but they both live in the same clan? <laughs> like that makes no fucking sense. Yeah. The clans would have idiolects and dialects and stuff like that. And if they wanted to like make, you know, have a, each clan have its own individual thing, that'd be one thing. But um you know, but uh but like having everybody sort of have these Ver- these wide variety, even though they're all American accents, um, just this this variety of American accents, it's just kind of like, eh, or dialects, I should say. It's just like, okay, this is really cool. I love that, you know, this this woman who has a lisp can have a lisp in this game. Um, but it just makes <laughs> Thou no shall not steal a super advanced terraforming system. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, no, but like what you're talking about is like, that's, if you don't think about it too hard, mm-hmm. it's not annoying at all. Mm-hmm. But the problem is James and I always think about things just a little bit too hard. Very true, very true. That's that's sort of a, a defect about us. Mm-hmm. I was actually getting into, um, it's really, I don't know what to categorize the conversation that I had with my friend a few days ago. Mm-hmm. where We were sort of like bemoaning the fact that there isn't a lot of, like taught media literacy, mm-hmm. and so when people like consume media nowadays, mm-hmm. it it's not with like a like the takes are always a little bit bad, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's just like, or it, it's uh, or people will use shorthands that mean one thing, but the intention of that is something else. Mm-hmm. Like when someone like, oh, the graphics are amazing. Mm-hmm. That more often than not, they just mean that the thing looks good. Mm-hmm. But graphics aren't indicative of something that actually makes a product. Yeah. Or like when somebody, uh, like well, the com- uh, the thing that my friend and I were talking about is when people say, oh, but that's just not realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like, well, n- okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like none of this is realistic. Like, no, uh, like my, um, my, my, with video games especially, my, m- the one thing that really like frustrates the shit out of me is when people are like, the game is so linear. And I'm just like, all games are linear. Like, like. Like they may be, yeah, like they, they may be, um, you know, uh, unless they're um, uh, not isometric. I, I can't remember the name for uh, games that are specifically designed to, n- like, uh, be open-ended in the way that you can just kind of do whatever. But even then, like, it, it really what it is is just, <coughs> you know, um, it's just a, a, a more options for, more linear options for you to do. Huh. Yeah. Um, than than it is just like a game, you know, like but but people are just like, oh no, like the, the game's too linear. I don't like it. It's like no, what you're what you mean is that you don't feel like you have enough agency in the game to enjoy it. Yeah, like you don't feel like you're playing the game. You feel like you're stuck doing this out of the other. Which you know, like I think I, it's such a weird thing because I also feel like. Th- our take about there's bad takes because people don't learn media literacy. I don't know. It, there's also feels like there is a slight elitism to that take, you know? Yeah, no, I get it. It's like, just, it's, it's all weird. It's, it's really weird, but it's like, n- cause oh my, there was this one thing. I don't know how serious this actually was. Cause, um, <laughs> so context, uh, for something I'm about to say mm-hmm. is, Aaron and I um, found a TikTok where somebody said, you know, I have a lot of AD and maybe, you know, a touch of the tism. (laughs) 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 
And so that's just been like in our lexicon <laughs> as of late. Yeah. Um, a touch so of the tism. Yeah, a touch of the tism, which, you know, ADD has touch of tism similar things. Mm-hmm. So I always can't tell when people are being 100% serious or mm-hmm. not. And um, so that I saw this TikTok where people were watching um, Hairspray the Musical, mm-hmm. you know, like the movie version of it. Mm-hmm. And it goes to the Corny Collins show. And they got so utterly upset that there was a lyric that said, nice white kids who like to lead the way. And once a month we have our Negro day. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, okay. And they were trying to like dismiss and like call the entire movie problematic, which, you know, it has problematic elements because it's John Waters. Mm -hmm. But like, they were like, do you, know what the show's about <laughs> it's about racism it's about segregation it's mm-hmm. it's a, it's the 1960s yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like are you how bad is your media literacy that you like cannot uh, not necessarily excuse but understand why something bad is in something yeah no i i understand it's it's a whole fucking thing um, all right, so I will say that we are going to have to wrap it up here. We're going to have to wrap it up pretty quick? Yeah, like after after this cutscene, I'm going to say we're going to have to wrap it up, which oh. should be ending here pretty sh- shortly. Oh, sorry for the delays, people. Yeah, no, we had some, we had some shit that we well, had to deal with. Well, since this is the first time, we can, you know, uh, make sure that we get the right stuff next time. Yeah. Set up properly. Set up properly, get, all, get everything all ready and going. Get everything all rolling with the... Oh, she has a statue. Yeah, <laughs> they, they make a. You can talk to the uh, the Sun King about it. Really? Yeah. Does she, is is Aloy pleased? No, but <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, well, like the great thing is, is that like the Sun King is like, I had to fight to make it that small. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He was just like, Hey, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, No, our artisans wanted it to be like taller than the spire. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> They're like, No, no, no. Keep it tiny. Because th- that's the one thing that I really appreciate about Aloy as a character. Mm-hmm. She, like, mm, she like checks everybody to keep herself humble. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not even, like, keeping herself humble. She's like, no, I know what I am. Mm-hmm. I know. And what you're doing right now is, like, stupid and wrong. Mm-hmm. And you shouldn't really be doing it. Yeah. All right. Well, we're done with that cutscene. All right. We are done with the cutscene. So now it's time for us to say goodbye. Uh, Nano, yes. Thank you for. Thank you for you. Thank you. This is going to be a regular thing. Are we going to try to make this into a regular thing? This yes. is going to be the stream. This is going to be the Friday stream. Is playing with guys and dolls. Um, no, thank you. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so this is going to be Will and I for the future. Foreseeable future. Foreseeable future. Uh, if this becomes too much of a hassle or not fun anymore, obviously we're not going to do it. Same thing with my individual streams. Mm. Um, but right now we're just going to give it the good college try and, and see, see. And, and see how it goes. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we are signing off. All uh, right. Bye everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye bye everybody.